skills in identification and responding to violence against women so uh, there are some specific signs and symptoms when a woman facing violence reach to the medical facility there are some common injury patterns associated with domestic violence the most common forms of the health consequences are injuries due to assault and there are attempts to suicide by consumption of poison or burns see many times it is observed that the poison is not taken to such an extent that will kill that particular female but it is a threat that the next violence should not take place unwanted pregnancies repeated pregnancies repeated reproductive health complaints like white pp discharge pain in abdomen repeated sexually transmitted infections so these are symptoms and these all symptoms are categorized department wise for the ready reckoner for the healthcare provider it is the healthcare provider who will identify the signs and symptoms and encourage the woman to disclose the violence and seek the care so coming to the first department that is the casualty we know that the casualty has all kinds of patients and most of the times they are assaults so casualty faces assault burns fracture fall pregnancy with a history of fall women with unexplained bruises CLW laceration no now the healthcare provider who is appointed in the casualty definitely has to treat physically for the CLW injuries blood transfusions treatment of the shock etc and after the patient settles down after 48 hours or 72 hours in the second visit he can he or she can talk to, with that particular victim in confidence and definitely they will find that some problem in the life of that particular woman and we can help them out so in medicine department the medicine is a opd and therefore women comes with the uh, myriad form of the myriad symptoms now there can be history of consumption of poison it can be just breathlessness fainting spells swelling or tenderness repeated health complaint chronic anemia body ache headache weight loss pyrexia of unknown origin tuberculosis so these are irritable bowel syndrome which i have seen many times so these are all the symptoms there are many other symptoms also but if the same patient is coming with repeatedly with the same and same complaint she can be a case of violence in obgyn it's very common a uh, history of assault repeated pregnancies see uh, because of female child within one year next pregnancy one year next pregnancy even if we counsel 100 times that the next pregnancy should take place within a due after duration of 3 years this doesn't happen because there is unmet need for the contraception and they don't come to the hospital because of number of things there can be spontaneous abortion there can be mtps reversal of tubal ligation unwed mothers pregnant widows postpartum psychosis many times we find women are not accompanied by any of the relative they have to take care of the newborn many days until the discharge also no one comes so these are all affect psychologically the health of a pregnant woman even delivered woman